Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, well, how do you, in this little tips and tricks video, how do you find out if what generation your Intel processor is? We all know that right now, and this could change, but right now, minimum requirement for going to Windows 11, Microsoft is putting the minimum requirement at the eighth generation of CPU. Now, first, I want to mention something because a lot of people mix their version, their their model number with the generation. A i5 or i7 or i3 has nothing to do with this generation. It's the type of CPU within the same generation. So some people think that because they have an i7, they can move on i7 is not the generation it's just one of the types of the cpu that's all so typically in intel you'll have core i3 i5 i7 or i9 cpus the higher that number the more powerful your cpu is in general once again nothing to do with the generation it does not tell you what generation you have to know the generation of your cpu in intel first of all right click if you don't know already its number, right click the start menu, go into device manager, and here you will open the tab with processor, just expand it with the little arrow. Now in my case I've got an AMD processor, so it's not something that you will that that we can use here. But I've actually took the page from Intel, and here is how it works. You wanna know what generation your processor is? Your processor will be a number, so first it's gonna say i5 or i7 or i9 or i3. That's the type. The generation is the following number. So here, for example, i7-8650. The eight tells you it's eighth generation. If you have a seven, seventh gen, six, sixth gen, so on. Eight, nine, you can have a 10th, 11th gen, processor. That number that follows the i7, i5, i9, or i3 will tell you that will tell you the generation. So 11, that means you're going to have 11th generation. 10 is a 10th, 9, 8, 7, 6, and so on for what generation of processors you have. That's as simple as that. That number easily tells you what generation you have. It's the first number after the i9, the i7, the i5, or the i3, that's telling you that. So it's as simple as that, and just check, and uh, you'll know if yes or no, you are compatible for Windows 11 in the actual minimum requirement. The minimum requirements might change, and I wouldn't be surprised that they do change over the next months. But uh, right now, uh, eighth generation is where they place their minimum requirement. As for the Ryzen, because I have a Ryzen here, uh, anything that is Ryzen 2 or later is compatible. So uh, only the Ryzen 1 is not compatible. So in Device Manager, if you look at your Ryzen CPU, um, you'll go in Processors. So here I got a Ryzen 7, that's compatible. But anything that is Ryzen 1 is not, but Ryzen 2 and later are all compatible with uh, the upgrade to Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.